now available on Instagram. Welcome to my channel. There's a little Y2K trend by the name of whale tail that has been making a little comeback recently. What is a whale tail? According to Wikipedia, whale tail is the Y-shaped waistband of a thong or G-string when visible above the waistline of low-rise jeans that resembles a whale's tail. Popularized by a number of female celebrities, including Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, Paris Hilton, and Britney Spears. Whale tails became popular in the early 2000s, together with the rise of low-rise jeans and thong underwear, but wand within the decade. Perhaps there's nothing more definitive of early 2000s fashion than the whale tail, which was actually kicked off by Cisco and his 1999 hit, Thong Song. And yes, it was a super big trend in the early 2000s, and it's definitely coming back if it's not back already. But that's not really a surprise because fashion is cyclical. What comes around goes around. First, I wanted to talk about how did we get here. The thong and its probable predecessor, the loincloth, is believed to be one of the earliest forms of human clothing that originated 75,000 years ago in Sub-Saharan Africa. It was actually worn exclusively by men and it was used to support and protect their genitals. So the first public appearance of a thong in the U.S. came in 1939 in New York City. The mayor at the time, whose name was Fiorello LaGuardia, and yes, LaGuardia airport is named after him. But the mayor was worried about the decency of the city. So he passed an ordinance that new dancers had to wear bottoms. And the new dancers were quite inventive. So what they ended up doing was creating a thong to show off their bottoms because they knew they would get more money if they showed at least a bottom. So that in 1939 was the first public appearance of a thong. But thongs were definitely super taboo and not something that proper ladies would be wearing at the time. And then fashion designer Rudy Gernreich is actually credited with introducing the modern day thong as we know it today in 1974. He actually designed the thong as a response because the city of LA banned nude sunbathing. There was also a protest against repressive society. What's provocative in fashion is constantly evolving. So styles that maybe today might be very taboo or considered indecent in the future might be a chic trend. So the whale tail trend didn't just come out of nowhere in the 2000s. It actually started creeping up in high fashion in the late 90s. Starting with Jean-Paul Gaultier in spring summer 1997, a few of the looks had exposed undergarments and then exactly the same season, in spring 1997, Tom Ford for Gucci, who I would say Tom Ford, I don't know if he wants to be known as the king of whale tail, but I'll give him the crown because he kind of started it. So in his spring 97 show, Ford showed the iconic Gucci thong. He basically sent the model down a runway with just a simple black G-string with the Gucci emblem on the back in silver. And that really caused a stir. He took something actually that was a very taboo thing and he made it high fashion. And then of course that trickled down thong now is like not a big deal and it's funny because it wasn't even that long ago it was in like 1997 so then John Galliano for Christian Dior did a collection that was fall winter 2001 and he showed super low slung pants with lace thongs coming out of them with whale tails so yeah at the time the thong was definitely having a moment in fashion and also low rise pants were having a moment in fashion and combined the perfect storm to create the whale tail trend one of my favorite whale tail wearers of all time is Halle Berry and she's definitely done it a few times but my favorite time is at the 2000 VMAs she wore this amazing two-piece that was a mini skirt with the whale tail and a little crop top and it was sequenced and it was gorgeous and she looked like a goddess. She just looks so confident and she just knows she looks good so I love it. Oh and at the same 2000 VMAs Britney Spears also wore that nude two-piece with all of the crystals on it with a whale tail and for any Britney fan that is like iconic Britney. And then my other very favorable and memorable whale tail moment was Gillian Anderson actually and she went to an app 
after party for the 2001 Oscars with the most incredible dress that had a whale tail in the back and the complete back was open. She just looked so stunning and she is just so cool. And of course, if we're speaking about whale tails, I can't but not mention Paris Hilton, who is probably the queen of whale tails. She really championed and pioneered the trend and she was probably like the most iconic and popular figure in popular culture at the time and she's the queen and the pioneer of the whale tail. So now to come back to the modern day, this trend of the whale tails started creeping in on us around 2018 and I'm gonna credit the first person that I saw it on was Kim Kardashian in a picture where she's sitting down in this brightly colored, I think it's like a yellow or a green dress. She has the original like archived Gucci g-string and let's be honest, Kim Kardashian is to today what Paris Hilton was to 2000. So of course that trend is gonna come and trickle down and be a thing. Everything from the 2000s is now becoming a thing. JLo was seen shooting a music video wearing a gray trouser with a matching whale tail. So she's definitely had a contribution to the trend coming back. And of course, Hailey Bieber in 2019 at the Met Gala wore an Alexander Wang baby pink dress with a G-string in the back. She looked really gorgeous and expensive in that dress. So that specific dress I also contributed to the trend. And then of course, Alexa Demi, her character actually wears kind of a Britney Spears inspired two piece with a whale tail. And then in real life, she also herself wears a backless animal print whale tail dress with crystals on the G-string. And in both instances in the show and in real life, she just looks really, really amazing. And I do think that she definitely has also something to do with contributing to this. And she's like young, hot on a hit show. She's definitely an influencer. In the fashion world, we've also seen it popping up. In spring 2018, the New York based label Linder had a look with a whale tail going down the runway. And then of course the Versace spring summer 2020 had whale tails. And I actually love those Versace whale tails. And then Heron Preston for spring 20 also had models walking down the runway with whale tails, as well as Matthew Williamson for Givenchy for spring 2021. So it's definitely having a moment right now with celebrities and in high fashion, which means pretty soon we should be seeing it as Zara, I guess. Low rise jeans will probably be back. And with that, the whale tail will probably be back. So let me know in the comments, will you be rocking the whale tail? And if you like this video, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.